I have a confession to make. I suck at math. I mean, it's not like I hate math, and I did good at math in school. I, I stayed so far away from math with the, like, didn't touch it with the 50-foot pole. Another admission here, I suck at coding. I'm, this is what I've learned in the first year, and uh, it took me one, one hour to make this game. I actually got stuck here for an hour, so it took two hours, because input was equal over here instead of over here and I'm sitting here like why is this why is it not lighting up like the answer value why is why is it just uh, I couldn't figure it out so you put the uh, x equals first basically or input equals first that's like the only thing I remember from algebra but yeah with that being said I suck at math and I suck at coding I've only been doing it for a year but you don't need math to code you don't need math to make a game you don't even need you know a lot of math to make a game that requires math dividing oh zero okay there's the answer I was I was about to say I thought anything divided by zero zero so if I put in zero it says correct your input was zero it's just say I'm stupid like I normally am because I had to cheat and look up the answer <laughs> false the answer was five so and then it of course shows the answer value here being updated way too many times because this is not performant and uh, it can be improved by you it basically probably just needs to move all these things out to uh, the start function but I don't care um it's not done yet the whole point of this really is just to explain that to make a game you just you don't need big brain power you just need like a little bit of understanding of how code works so as you can see here there's three random ranges and that basically controls the whole freaking game now that's right three random ranges four bulls and a couple of, and a couple of integers that that and, and one text one text so one two three four five six seven integers which only total out to three integers in the end which totals out to one final integer obviously and and the game text and then the bulls to switch between whether we are multiplying adding or dividing and i don't know why here it just never generates the highest value i don't know i've tried making them their own things up here uh a variable but uh don't know what you want to call that i see i suck at i suck at coding so um yeah just random range first value equals low low first value high first value which can be decided up here i just decided to just keep it private just to edit it only in the script um of course you can always do a serialized field to show it in inspector some people like to do it up there i like to just do it after each one and that will bring it up in inspector if you want um that's one way to do that so um or you can just make it public. Yeah, screw it. Public will always break it up. This will always work if everything's public because it's so simple right now. So that being said, these random ranges select the first value and then your second value. So that will give you a random range right now between 0 and 10. So you'll get 0 to 10 for your first value, 0 to 10 for your second value. You see that? You see how that does that? Yeah, very nice. And then this will choose um, a random range between 1 and 5. But remember, I said it never chooses the highest range. It's like broken here or something so it will choose a random range between one and four so this is another example here i don't know why it's not generating the highest value but sometimes just you know add it again it's i'll try it like 10 times here if we generate a five see i got it generating right here you can see this the uh, the integer being generated um exception attempted to divide by zero okay so uh let's see we'll add a note here try to add a fix for <laughs> divide by zero error that's kind of funny i didn't expect that i i don't know see we're learning together this is fun all right c3 <laughs> if we get a five i'll be shocked no nope. four still not a five four <laughs> two four i mean do this just like two or three more times can't divide by zero this is great i love it uh three one more time, four, a <laughs> five, never generates five. I don't know why. So uh, maybe it needs to be its own script, this part. Maybe I need to move it to its own script and we'll start generating a five. Um, that's basically my best guess. Uh, it's having some sort of confliction. You're just having so many random ranges. I don't know. Usually moving things around to a different script fixes it. But going on forward, explaining. So yeah, you see it chooses 
all these values and then it will add the uh, first value and then the second value or subtract or divide or multiply whichever one it does and then that will equal the first value remember you don't want to do equals afterwards you want to do equals before and then you got your bulls here which decide uh, whether you are multiplying or dividing and then what those pools do is decide what text to spit out here at the uh, update which again probably be in start but whatever and then um, I got a debug here that cheats and tells me the answer which again could probably be in start but whatever and then down here you're gonna need a private string input and then input equals answer string and then down here you're gonna do a debug make sure your inputs working right and not being a dum-dum like me spending an hour trying to figure out why you had that backwards int answer value and then this right here is going to change the uh, the uh, input here the answer string which you're typing in answer string and it's going to change that from a what do you call it a string to a integer so that we can compare that integer to the final integer our final value and if it is equal to it it will spit out correct if it is not it will spit out false and that that right now is the game that's that's it how I understand it basically so it's it's not hard it's very easy just to make this again it took me about an hour it took me two hours total because I got literally got stuck here for an hour just confused why I was doing that wrong um that happens when you're coding and you're learning though and you shouldn't be afraid to um do things like this because I'm gonna try to do this with my head eight divided by three is I guess two oh, is that right yeah two because you have to round so, oh, oh, I'm going to that seven, seven. See, I'm trying not to cheat. I'm trying not to look down. Uh, zero. Yep. So I might need to make this a little bit harder for me. Okay, negative seven. Yes. So, oh, when it's done, it's going to have a timer. You're going to have like 10, 30 seconds on each question. And then, you know, score and everything. But yeah, I wanted to show you don't need to be great at math. Um, definitely not the greatest mathematician of all time. Eh? So... That's that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos.